ഹലോ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് വെൽക്കം ടു ഇ സി അക്കാഡമി ഇൻ ദിസ് ലെക്ചർ ലെറ്റസ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ഇൻട്രൊഡക്ഷൻ ടു ഇമേജ് എൻഹാൻസ്മെൻറ്റ് യൂസിംഗ് സ്പേഷ്യൽ ഡൊമൈൻ ഫസ്റ്റ് ലെറ്റസ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് ഇമേജ് എൻഹാൻസ്മെൻറ്റ് ഇമേജ് എൻഹാൻസ്മെൻറ്റ് ഈസ് എ പ്രോസസ് ദറ്റ് ഇംപ്രൂവ്സ് ദി ക്വാളിറ്റി ഓഫ് എൻ ഇമേജ് ഫോർ എ സ്പെസിഫിക് അപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ സോ ഡിപെൻഡിംഗ് അപ്പോൺ ദി അപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ the quality of the image will be improved in image enhancement so the reason for image enhancement is to highlight the interesting detail or important details in an image also to remove the noise from an image and also to make image look more appealing there are three methods that can be used for image enhancement first one is a spatial domain second one is frequency domain and third one is combination method the spatial domain deals with direct manipulation of pixel values the frequency domain deals with modifying the fourier transform of the image in this frequency domain the image will be converted from spatial domain to frequency domain then it is processed using fourier transform after processing the image is converted back to spatial domain third method is combination method which is combination of first and second method now we will understand the spatial domain the term spatial domain refers to the image plane itself if you consider an image with pixel values so if you consider an image as it is we will call that as spatial domain so the image with pixel values are nothing but spatial domain the image processing in this domain is a direct manipulation of pixel values of an image there are two categories of uh, spatial domain first one is intensity transformation in which the modification of intensity values of pixel will takes place and second one is spatial filtering here there will be direct manipulation of pixels using a mask the spatial domain technique operates directly on the pixels of an image but in frequency domain operations are performed on fourier transform of an image so this is the difference between spatial domain and frequency domain the spatial domain process is denoted by g of x comma y will be equal to t of f of x comma y here f of x comma y is an input image and g of x comma y is the output image and the term t is known as the operator this operator can be applied to the single image or to the set of images this figure shows the basic implementation of this equation on a single image which means the operator is applied on a single image the point x comma y is the arbitrary location in an image and the region next to this pixel is known as neighborhood of this pixel x comma y in spatial domain processing the spatial domain process consists of moving the origin of the neighborhood from pixel to pixel and applying the operator t to the pixel in the neighborhood that will be yielding the output of the location if we consider this pixel with the neighborhood pixel so this will be moved from this origin and the operation is performed on this based on the operator and once the operation is performed this pixel x comma y along with the neighborhood will be moved to the next pixel value and then the operation will be performed again likewise this operation will be performed on entire pixel of the image the simplest form of t is when the neighborhood is of the size 1 cross 1 which means if we take only one pixel that is the simplest form of the operator t so in this case if we take the neighborhood of size 1 cross 1 which is a single pixel in this case g will depend upon the value of f at the x comma y and t will become a gray level so here the operator t will become the gray level if we take the neighborhood of size 1 cross 1 hence we will call t as gray level transformation or it is also known as intensity transformation or mapping 
this gray level transformation or intensity level transformation can be denoted as s is equal to t of r and t is the operator these two figure shows the gray level transformation figure a shows the effect of transformation that would produce an image of higher contrast than the original image this is the transformation that shows the image that is of higher contrast compared to the original image in this transformation the region of the image will be darkened below m and it will be brightening the level above m this technique is also known as contrast stretching the value of r below m are compressed by transformation function into a narrow range of s and the value of r above m are compressed by the transformation function towards lighter region if you observe in this graph the transformation from dark to light is having a form of a curve that represents the contrast stretching figure b shows the transformation t of r that produces two level image which is also known as binary image this is known as threshold function it is the simple but most powerful processing approach that can be formulated with gray level transformation here the transformation at any point in an image depends only on gray level at that point this technique is also known as point processing so if you observe the graph you are having a darker region and uh, you are having a lighter region here so in an output image either there will be a dark region or a lighter region so the value of r below m will be darker and the value of r above m will be having the lighter region so that's why we call this as binary image or two level image if we consider the image the large number of neighborhood will result in more flexibility hence one principal approach is to use the mask which is also known as filter kernel template or window basically mask is a small 2d array which will be of the order 3 cross 3 as shown in this figure you can see here if you consider this pixel x comma y the mask value is 3 cross 3 here the value of mask coefficients will determine the nature of a process that can be applied onto the image this type of processing is known as mask processing or filtering example of mask processing is image sharpening this is about introduction to image enhancement using spatial domain hope you have understood the topic thank you